Okay, let's start with the second part of this tutorial. I might as well just take care of all of the reset first. So let's come in here and just start with JLBL cost and that will be there. And let's go for LBL. Let's see. Product name. Let's go for product name. I think we we'll remember that. Dot. Now we need to check out the names of these items. Okay, let's come in here. The name of this is called product name in uppercase. Yeah, paste that in there and just copy this. That's to reset that. Okay, now you guys get the whole idea. This is the method to reset. So I'll just speed that up so that we can complete the reset on time because I do need the names of all of these components. And that is for the description. There, so let's speed that up now. Okay, guys, this is how the reset looks now seems there's a lot of component to be to reset and there we go I think I still have some more combo box to take care of let's come in here yeah I do I have this to take care of so what is their name let's come in here check out the name okay and the content on that is just yes so go back into the code a c m b dot yeah that's correct set selected index no it's item i mean Okay, set selected item, make that yes. There. And the other one, let's get the name. Let's get the name of the other one. That will be a selected item is credit, really. It's credit account. That's in there. Dot selected. Dot set. Next equals. Make that credit account. Okay, I will speed that up and get back to you guys. Okay, it looks like it's all completed now. The reset is all done. So let's. Let's run it and see. And we select some item in there. Yeah. That is fine. Let's enter some data in here. Okay, the rest of them are all labeled. So we're going to leave those ones the way they are. So if I click on that, yeah, all right, look at this one. We need to take care of that too. I think it's called. Let's find out the name. J discount. Yeah. JCMD discount. So we'll come in here. And that discount was meant to be zero. Paste that in there and just copy one of these. Yeah, it should be there. Yeah. That's it. It should have been zero. Okay. Let's change that to that. And see what happened. Let's try it again. Compile. Let's run. And reset. There. That's fine now. Okay. So what is left for us to do now is when I select this, I would like this to be to populate all of these widths 
some other information with regards to the stock that is that is selected so if that is selected I want the stock name description stock level and so on so let's come back in here okay let's double click on the start with that first now come in here and enter as follows using if statement if let's get the name that's the name copy that all right dots let's say get that will be get selected let's enter an s the selected item okay dot equals all right now let's say it's equal to the following let's say uh, product id PID that will be zero three six five zero one yeah so if that is that let's enter okay we now need the product name that's the product name I'm just gonna copy okay product name I need all of these I'm gonna copy all of these it's a number of order I think an action yeah, copy all of those and bring them right in here paste them there now the product ID that will be let's start with rice that will be rice you guys can enter whatever you like description of rice let's say uh, white white green something like that now what about stock level stock level shall we go for maybe 200 let's go for 200 that's the stock level of rice um reorder reorder level maybe the reorder level can be maybe about 30 and out of stock level let's go for five when it's five we class it out as out of stock number of order I think that's that's supposed to be customer date order to that should be date action so in this case we need to enter something else so let's comment this out and comment this out date order we need to comment this out so let's try out what we've done so far if I run the program now so save it first and just run it let's see and we select that item look at that that is good okay we need the cost so it should be able to give us the cost as well and then and if we can get this date of reorder reorder we have to work with this okay so let's come in here cost let's get the cost the cost yeah there we go that's the cost there copy that and we need that right here the cost goes in there let's say the cost is about a bag let's say bag is about maybe Twelve pounds eighty. Okay, let's put that in quote. Yeah, that is the cost. Now we also have some other component here. One, two item order that's got to do with the customer. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's run this and see. And that will, if we select this there. Okay, now, now that we know what to do, so we need it up to five, so we just need to copy that. I'm gonna get rid of these ones for now because they are not needed right now. So let's use, let me use if, let's see if. 
just copy that as well paste and in the case of this that becomes two and let's say this is beans beans is also a grain grain or maybe let's say white or black eye beans so whatever then I have no clue or black eye bean or white or whatever grain yeah that's cool okay let's say we're going for about 320 in there and the stock level let's say about 50 um, out of stock is 50 and stock level let's go for 10 and the cost of that let's go for about maybe 10 50 as for the beans now the beans is there let's enter other item maybe we enter something like let's see let's change this first that's number three and here let's go for carrot and carrot I think carrot is class as a vegetable yeah let's put that in there maybe we need about 100 bags and let's change this to 10 and this one to about yeah something like that Okay, that's carrot now let me go for bread now in this case this is number four change that to four and here is bread white grain yeah and we don't want to over order bread because that can go out of yeah all right that's bread okay now we have bread in the house now finally the fifth one okay what would be the fifth one let's go for eggs eggs that's like poultry isn't it Yeah, 300 they likes eggs all right 45 and the cost is a little bit cheaper all right okay let's save this and see what we've done so far so have a look at the codes guys so that means when you select that this is what I want the system to do okay so let's run it now compile run select that's fine that's good all right so we're on track now so we just need to take care of the rest really because we're almost there now the only bit that will take some time would be the calculation of this this will be deducted from here and the remainder will come in here so we have to enter that inside the total and if we have to give discount as well so that's just the bit that might take some take some time and now when the order level is okay this will take care of order level and the dates okay so it's all about calculation now right try the reset there the reset works too that's good so exit the system and now come to total so if we can get that in place okay with the total let's declare the following variables right there okay we now have an array there okay the array is uh, name is called product so let's go back into total now double click on total and what I would do is I will assign the following so let's say product product is an array so let's say array 0 equals 
double the pulse and that would be J T X T num of number of order dots get okay that is the first one I think I need to check the name let's check the name again that is the name copy that it has an uppercase there and paste it in here yeah that's the very first one all right so we're missing parentheses there now the next thing is that will be double Cause double yeah okay that's fine now the next one might as well just copy this and just change change it around that will be one product one and we want the stock level there so what we want what, what I'm trying to achieve here is the number in here is deducted from product level and whatever is left will be displayed on the remainder so let's get the product level that's the stock level as the stock level there copy that and just paste that in here there that's taken care of now let's do something let's declare a local variable in here I'm gonna call that double and I'll call it C total C total one okay equals that will be this very one product one and we need to deduct that from this okay now come there now we now need we need this inside the remainder this very one here so let's get the name of this but the other problem is we have to convert it so let's convert that first so I'm gonna comment this out let's convert that that says string it has to be converted to string string costs ID equals let's say equals string string dot value of so value of C total this very one and paste that in here there close that and right here now we want that very value this one we want this one to become dot set text And that will be cost cost D and just yeah, get rid of that I don't need to there that is it okay let's see if this is gonna work I'll compile and run it now select whatever product and enter how many we intend to order let's say we want to go for 50 they're supposed to be 150 so this should give us 100 click on total that is correct so the remainder is 150 sold so that means if we have the cost okay 50 multiplied by this we should be able to get that in here so with that i'll call it the end of the second part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys later